gas station. Please like and subscribe. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of the gas station. I'm your host Bjorn, also known as Bear. And well, I got another special episode for you guys today. So let me take you guys on a ride. We're going to be heading to Ojai, meet with the fellas, pick them up. We're going to be heading down to a bike show slash bike giveaway. Stay tuned. If you haven't, please like and subscribe. Show your friends all that good shit. And let's get right into it. So this is the 33 headed northbound. Going to Ojai. looking forward to hitting the back road but then I had literally this guy follow me for like literally all probably 10 miles five miles he followed me for pretty much the whole ride so didn't get to do what I would like to do but all in all I had a great ride and for the next time I do ride I know to put my camera up a little bit just to have the positions well enough. So that's for next time. As far as the wind, I did have my wind sock on my GoPro and I had the audio set up, but it still it still has wind issues. So I'm gonna try to close it up with like a little piece of sock or something. A little piece of fabric, glue it in the little mic or some shit. There, I'm just checking, uh, make sure everything's tight on the bike. I do like to raise people every once in a while, so I just gotta make sure it's ready to go. Start it up. You know, for any reason the time does arise, I'll be ready to race. This is the Deer Lodge, Ojai, California. If you haven't been here before, great motorcycle place to hang out on the weekends. It's kind of been a little slow during COVID, but during the summertime, it picks up. Pretty cool spot. I will say their bison burger there and their truffle fries is off the chain. So right here, we're uh, 
headed to Ventura, California. We're gonna be going to a bike show at Miller Speed Co. Um, it's a newer shop that opened up, motorcycle shop, Harley Davidson shop that opened up. And um, they're pretty much like family, family friends. And uh, we just like to you know, show, it, show each other appreciation and um, you know, show up to the event, give them money, whatever they need help with, moving stuff, you know, we're there for them. Like I said before, Miller Speed Co, shout out to them for uh, organizing this event. And uh, I think some of the proceeds, or half of the proceeds or something like that went to the veterans. Um, I forget which uh, charity it was, but you know, everything was in good name, good spirit, you know what I mean? Don't make fun of me because I'm a little bit farther back than everybody. I was trying to get it on the film, but at the same time I was trying to stay in the pack, but we were doing the 100 plus, you know, around this corner, so it's like, not the best spot to be doing this kind of shit. Plus we're riding with 20 other people, we should just be staying in a tight pack. Sometimes we like to go fast, especially that corner. But there's too many cars to really get after it. Anyways, on our way to Miller Speed Co. Shout out to them again for putting this event together. It was probably the most happening thing going on in California that day. Um, as far as I know, it was just a really cool time. A lot of people there, friends and family, food, beer, entertainment. All there. Great time. Ooh. One boy almost went down on the bike. See when I turn around right here, you can see how many bikes there are actually there with us. That was just one group. There was probably 200 plus bikes there. I will say the line to get beer was way too long. So, sorry about that, Bryce, but you know I had to go and get my own beer. Some nice bikes right here. So there was a, a bagger class in the show, a Dyna class, and an FXR class. That bike's bad. That bike looks 
sick. It's all black. The red details. Beautiful bike. Some of these bikes had some amazing detail. Um, I guess you would have to be there to notice it, but some of the bikes had some pretty good detail to it. Like that, that's a shortened up pipe. But you wouldn't really notice most of the time. That bike had a nice paint job. I like those paint jobs. For some people, it's too much, but man, I'm into that hot rod shit. That's a beautiful looking paint job, I think. My buddy, that's my buddy's bike, and I think he put it in the show. Uh, he couldn't find a parking spot. <laughs> but, he keeps the thing nice and clean. Check out this beast. That's, that's Ventura style right there. That bike is sick. So that bike won the overall, uh, as far as all the bikes. And, well, it deserves it too. Beautiful bike though. And then you have my buddy's uh, Pops has got the black one that looks exactly like that one, but it's the yin and yang. That one's the white and red, the other one's black and gray. Same flames, because the same guy did the paint job. It's a beautiful paint job. But it, it, they look cool, when, especially when they're sitting next to each other.
See, that's what I was talking about. That thing's sick. That's my buddy's dad's, I believe. I think that's his bike. Yeah, that's his bike. That thing's sick. So that one sitting next to the red one, they just, they both live off the chain. So Miller Speed Co. does build, a, you know, a majority of these bikes, and they do some really good work. Both the employees there, both the work for Harley Davidson, you know, both went through that for years and years and years as a technician. Now they got their own shop and they're doing their own thing. So they have all those people that used to go to Harley Davidson all now going there. At least the people that ride bikes like this. But even the community of the racing bikes and the racing shops, they're all per they're, there's no like hate, well, except for like one or two but there's pretty much like no hater shops like everybody that pretty much knows each other that has different shops they all they they were all at this event you know so there's no like hard feelings or animosity we pretty much when we like somebody or you know they're, they're, a lot of these people are all friends and friends and family and then it's pretty much just friends and family so you know, they all take care of each other and it was nice to see all the local shops. A lot of the people show up, minus one shop. I, you know, there's always that one, that one shop nobody cares to have around. But anyways, the camaraderie is second to none. It was nice to see all the big names show up. the gyms 120 looking good So this is me going out into the middle of the street, checking all the bikes, seeing what's going on, checking them all out, um, seeing how many pretty much were there. Just went through all the bikes. That last red one was mine, but just kind of went through all the bikes, seeing what was there, how many were there, anything special. Just kind of showing the viewers that are on YouTube, checking out my channel 
what exactly is going on there. So you can see down the street, there's bikes lined all the way up down the street. New bikes, old bikes, fancy bikes, race bikes, slow bikes, low rider bikes, standing tall bikes, they were all there. FXRs, baggers, cruisers, you know the deal. They were all there. Cafe racers. So it's a nice, here's a special event right here where they're giving away the Harley Davidson. Harley Davidson, built by Miller Speed Co. And the event put on by Miller Speed Co. Yes, I did contribute $100 to the raffle. It was $100 per ticket. And I would say it was well spent because, you know, a lot of the proceedings were going to one of the veteran uh, uh, charities. This girl just won the Harley Davidson. She's stoked. And she's gonna give it to one of her friends. Just won a sick five. Let's go check it out. Check that thing out. Clean, clean, clean. Like fresh paint, fresh powder. It was, I mean, it looked brand new practically. I mean, it was beautiful, as you can see. Dual disc, thunder header. You know how we do it. Badass bike. So they gave a few other prizes away. I don't exactly know what it was, but gift cards for the shop, you know, oil changes, things like that, of that nature. So all in all, it was just a cool event, man. Some food, catch a little buzz. From too, eating too much candy, of course. Shout out Miller Speed Co. again for putting the event together. That's old Noodles. He's, he's a mechanic in the shop. I think he's a co-owner. But he, he worked at Harley Dealership for years and years and years and years. And now he works here. I'm pretty sure it's his shop. But I can't remember if he's a co-owner or what's the deal with them. But I just know that's their shop. Yeah, no! Check that bad motherfucker out. And there's lights in the background. He's uh, the owner of the shop. I don't I, I, I don't want to mess it up. One of them's the owner or they're both the owner. We were we were all saying the same thing outside. We can't wait to get one out. This guy's styling. He's stoked on this. He don't even know what to do with himself. He's, he's got to take it all in. Give him a sec. Yeah. <laughs> I was just talking to Bryce. And said, dude, I wish I could make my bike look like that, dude. So my bike, I, have a, I have a nice bike, but it doesn't look like this. You can tell he's got a lot of appreciation for the bike build. No, this is yours. Hey, at this point, he doesn't even really realize that it's his. <laughs> Take it all. What's that? Oh. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to say a lot about 
that. But uh, yeah, what an event, cool ass show. Uh, and of course, you know, have fun out front. guy scared me when he hit that fender. Sunday, but the party wasn't over quite yet. And well, with that, I'll see you guys on the next one. Shout out Miller Speed Co. again for putting that um, on, and uh, I can't wait for the next one. Thank you to all the subscribers. Shout out to you guys. Please like the video. Please subscribe. Show your friends. If you need any help with any of your Harleys, reach out to me and I will help you. This is a gas station and we're fucking out. Peace. Please like and subscribe. <laughs>